Professor Joe Taki is the Director of Research and Innovation at RMIT University, Australia. She is a media anthropologist and a C4D for d specialist with research interest in media and communication for development, digital media and communication in everyday context, evaluation techniques and communicative ecologies. Uh, Ma'am, I would like to know the importance and relevance of community media in today's changing media landscape. Um, so I think community media is always relevant because um, I think countries that have really well developed um, communication environments have a mix of different tiers of communication and uh, media so uh, having public service, private and community is, uh, is, is relevant and always going to be relevant. And uh, tying this to the theme of the conference, how does a community media present itself in your region? I mean, some so, experiences okay, from there. Yeah. So, um, well, originally I'm from England, uh, but I've been in Australia for 14 years now. And Australia has one of the most developed community radio um, yeah. sectors in yeah. the world. So, very diverse, very big. It's been there for more than 35 years. Um, probably more than 40 years now um, and it's a very vibrant and healthy sector so people within the sector um, possibly feel that it could always be better but when you compare it to other countries and other sectors um, other community radio um, sectors across the world it is incredibly healthy and I think other countries have got a lot to learn from from Australia. Any other community media practices which are... Uh... Uh, in Australia? Yes, um, apart from community. Yeah, so in Australia we also have community television. That's... Um, I, I don't know that that is... has so much sort of... Personally, I think it's great to have community television and when you live in the metros, um, you have a community television channel. Um, it's not, um, I would say it's not as uh, well um, listened to or watched as community radio. There's many more community radio stations and I think in the sort of changing media environment, television will become less relevant, terrestrial and digital television sort of um, mm -hmm. one to many. Uh, so I think on demand television or video will be more important. It would be a challenge. Yeah. What according to you are the challenges parties, practitioners and participants usually face, I mean from the community media sector? Uh, well, sustainability, uh, financial security. In Australia, the um, probably most stations would be, their funding would come through um, subscription so the subscription model is very important in Australia it's not necessarily relevant in other countries where the um, sort of the community might not be able to afford that volunteering is also a key component of community radio in Australia and again um, that depends on people having time to spare so people who have to work to earn a very sort of meagre living can't necessarily spare the time so but that's a challenge always a challenge but I think I think community radio generally stays relevant because it's based on um, community involvement so the community decides what the content is therefore they must be interested in yeah, it so, uh, this uh, this new digitization policy across and it's imminent digitization is imminent now how would it impact or uh, how do you think it would you know, change the scenario of community media um, yes yeah, so I think digital again in Australia the community radio stations are all working together to ensure that they have space on digital channels um, so I think that's that's important in any country. So in India for the Radio Forum or other bodies to really lobby to have a say in um, 
the rollout of digital and make sure they get bandwidth on it so they get the channels that they need. But uh, I think also um, beyond that, um, streaming, streaming content will become more important. And I think probably in India, uh, um, thinking about the delivery to mobile phones, it's already happening, but, uh, and in some cases on-demand content would be important. What is the role of the state in advancing community media? Uh, well, the role of the state is to protect yeah. the space for community media, provide um, uh, regulation, legisla legislation really, and, um, and to protect the independence of community media. So that, if they do that, then I think community media can thrive. And in this growing scenario of globalization and corporatization, what would then be the role of the state? Uh, to protect, yeah, to yeah. protect the okay. independence and I think community media uh, and community radio that sort of subscribes to the sort of global definition of community media, which is community owned, community run, um, uh, if, if the government can or the state can protect the space for them to do that, then that is the role of the government. Uh, in India, local news is banned on FM, private FM and community media as well. Yeah. So what would your take be I mean, uh, on this particular issue? Uh, well, it, it's a problem because community, community radio, um, it's about sharing information and news. I mean, it might be different definition of news, but um, I think news, national news, uh, international news should be a part of or should be allowed to be a part of uh, community radio stations so I think um, the government's hesitation to allow that in India I mean obviously it's reflected in the FM stations as well private stations um, I just think um, I mean the, the government's reaction to the lobby for community radio before it was allowed was very cautious, very risk averse, worried that it would get into the uh, wrong hands and so forth. And I think what's happened in India has demonstrated that that isn't the case, that isn't a, a high risk. So I think over time, um, then it will be possible to broadcast news. So uh, I think there's discussion of it with FM stations now, um, and I think once, as soon as FM stations are allowed to broadcast local news, then the community radio should lobby to make sure it's extended to community radio. But in the meantime, I would, um, I just wouldn't call it news. I'd call it information or hmm. something else. I mean, in this present context, where would you place your work? I mean, in, uh, where would you see it further going? I mean, from here, in terms of your work. Um, around communication and development or um, community media communication community and media development. yeah I haven't worked so much on community media in recent years but I'm always interested to come to India and hear about what's happening in that space because I think one of the things I'm fascinated by a lot of my work at the moment is around evaluation and um, sort of planning and improving practices amongst any kind of communication initiative and sort of methodologies and uh, tools to help with that and I think the what's happening with community radio and the self-evaluation that's being um, sort of developed through the UNESCO chair is really fascinating and the, the ministries sort of recognition of that and their interest in peer review I find that fascinating because I think that's the kind of approach to evaluation that will that is actually beneficial to the initiatives the radio stations themselves rather than just you know proving impact to some other body external and external body so I think I'd quite like to learn more about that and um, I think my research around evaluation uh, and communication for development is very closely connected to that yeah yes ma'am thank you thank you thank you